Good morning. I'm headed off to the swimming pool and I want to make a quick video. I think that everybody, every now and again, I know certainly for me, I get the I'm not good enough feeling where my self-esteem, my self-worth drops. It's funky. It's a funky feeling. And if you suffer from that, hopefully it's short-lived. But if you suffer from that and it lasts for a while, here's some things that I have learned about how to make that go away permanently, or at least only let them last like 60 seconds. Every day, I will do something to love myself. It doesn't have to be big. I don't have to tell anybody. I don't have to reach out and say, look at me, look at me, I did this. It's just a quiet, giving myself a little bit of love. Like today, for instance, uh, I decided I'm going to go swim and it's Saturday. I've been in a different kind of a training mode this year, not the traditional endurance training. I've been strength training. It's another thing to love myself. It's okay for me to go look in the mirror and say, man, I'm getting some gains. <laughs> and it just makes me feel good that I'm doing something for me, just like today. I'm sore and stiff from yesterday. To give myself a little bit of love, I'm gonna go swimming. Swimming is such a great little activity if you've uh, got sore muscles and things. and. Uh, so do some love for yourself for every day. Physical, physical do that. You might want to do a little love by something mental, like reading or something. Yesterday when I was working at my desk, I work at home, and I was listening to uh, training videos, and I just got like my head was swimming and I said I'm just gonna go do something for myself so I go to YouTube started uh, scrolling listening to some YouTubes and I found two phenomenal YouTubes uh, from people I'm not even subscribed to about breathing and swimming I was fascinated by that I spent about 40 minutes of my day just listening to that and I said to myself I'm gonna go and practice that so this morning, second self-love in the same event, swimming to get rid of my soreness, I'm gonna practice these breathing techniques. For you, it might be getting a camera out, go take some photographs, uh, get a piece of paper out and draw some uh, colorful pictures. It could be anything that you have a desire that you love doing, just go do that every day, even if it's just a little bit of time. Give yourself some love. Here's another thing that I do that may be helpful that you could do once a day. I haven't done this one in a while, but I, I did do it, especially when I was healing and recovering from some serious shame that I carried. You talk about somebody without self-esteem. I carried uh, a lie for years. Um, I mean, talking 20, 30 years, I didn't have any self-esteem. And so as I was recovering from that, I learned a lot of these things about self-love. And this one little technique, I would get my iPhone out and I would record myself. I didn't sing because I don't sing good. I would just record myself just talking to myself. And I would be like my alter ego, my inner dad, if you will, talking to my inner child. And I would just pump myself up telling me how good I was and how great I was and all the talents that I had. And then surprisingly, <laughs> I would just replay that several times over and over and over. I remember this one recording I made that I kept and listened to. I didn't re-record it. It was so good, at least good to me, that I record. I listened to that one multiple times over. I still have it too. It's special. <laughs> and that's one thing you can do. 
And one more thing I'll give you, because we're running out of time here. Reach out to people who affirm you, who are not judgmental, who isn't trying to fix you, because you don't need to be fixed. Only broken things need to be fixed. People that try to fix you are broken themselves. I learned that in my recovery. I used to try to fix everybody. <laughs> Look in the mirror, that's the problem. Find a person that like totally affirms you, supports you, unconditionally loves you, and just reach out to that person. That person could even be like a sponsor to an addict, to a drug addict, to someone with alcohol abuse, uh, uh, any form of addiction. This sponsor, if you if you want to call him that, just call him and talk and express your concerns and your fears. Have someone just listen to you. Doesn't have to be very long. There again, see that as a form of self-love. Just love yourself. Hope you had value in this. If so, give me some love and click on my subscribe button. You guys take care. Bye.